Cuba. Hope you guys are having an awesome day today. Now, unfortunately, I'm not. <laughs> and that's because, like, dude, we finally get to see what's in the battle pass for season one in Black Ops Cold War. And I'm going to be completely honest with you guys, it, it's not that hype. It's not that nice. <laughs> and I don't know why, man. It's just, dude, they're following the exact same system the Modern Warfare did. So you know we're going to be getting a bunch of stickers, a bunch of sprays, and a bunch of, like, stuff that no one cares about within the battle pass. But we are getting the same two free weapons in this season so we're getting two free weapons congrats you don't have to buy the battle pass for that and it says right here the battle pass will be on sale when season one launches on december 15th at 11 p.m pt for 1000 cod points ten dollars usd and we already know that there's gonna be another one that's 2400 that gives you the first 20 tiers or whatever it's not on sale this is the price it is every single season don't pretend it's a sale that that's the price Anyways, the pass will offer 1,300 free COD points, so if you buy the first battle pass, again, you'll get the second one completely free if you don't use your COD points on anything, and we already know if COD points are in the game, we're finally getting the score in the game, which means we can get a bunch of new weapon variants and all that kind of stuff. That's cool, that's great, but there's some stuff that are just pretty ugly in this battle pass, and we're going to talk about that, so we're going to look at all the new weapons, new weapon variants, character skins, all that kind of stuff, so let's just get straight into it. Alright man, so right here, it's as at tier zero you instantly unlock stitch skins for adler and more so new operator stitch it's a brand new operator a whole new character that's pretty cool the infamous one eyed blue eye escapee is unlocked at tier zero with this unlock comes his redacted skin the signature armor he stepped out of the shadows with to greet adler as the cia agent who fell into his nefarious trap the instant unlock also comes with the release agent operator mission a set of objectives based in multiplayer that rewards two skins so not only are you getting the battle pass but you are getting some objectives to do afterwards to unlock different skins for the character which i think is pretty cool i think that it gives you something else to do in the game that's great that's fun whatnot but i was really hoping the season one battle pass would really spice up the game a lot and getting a new operator and two new weapons isn't really that cool it's not like wow the game is gonna be 10 times better now because we got one new operator and two brand new weapons and a bunch of sprays and useless stuff no one's really gonna care about but i mean whatever let's just go on here so the adler operator skin and mission stitch's nemesis also gets a set of tier zero unlocks through the traveler skin a blue jacket that he wears whenever he puts a target on a permanent vacation and the urban infiltration operator mission by completing objectives within this mission you can unlock the Jet Black Summit and Colorful Globetrotter skins, a calling card, an emblem, and plenty of additional XP. So I like the fact that they're giving us extra stuff to do. It's pretty cool. Um, the Silver Flash watch, we're getting another watch. I mean, it's a watch. And a seasonal XP boost. So that's pretty cool as well. You're getting seasonal XP boost, a 10% increase in all XP earned during the season if you purchase the battle pass. If you don't purchase it, you're not getting it. Like it says here, you can earn up to 300 card points through the season one battle pass system. Purchase the season one battle pass and you will be able to earn an additional 1000 cod points so if you never buy the battle pass you get 300 for free when season two comes out if you don't buy it again you'll probably get another 300 and then at season four you'll have enough you'll have 1200 meaning you get season five battle pass completely free the entire battle pass that's if you decide to actually go ahead and not use those cod points that you earn now new free base weapons again these weapons i gotta give it to them they're giving them for free at least if you don't even buy the battle pass you're getting the weapons absolutely free you just gotta get up in tiers and you'll end up unlocking it so these two primary weapons for you to earn through the battle pass system are ready to lead you into victory in multiplayer and war zone or rip through the undead hordes in zombies so let's look at these guys we got the mac 10 smg oh my god dude the mac the mac man if you guys played cod back in the day this thing is like dude it's just it's nice it's tiny it's nice it does the job and it's just it's pretty good it's it's really not bad at all this compact blowback operator submachine gun may be small in stature see it is small but its ability to throw out lead at high fire rates allows it to punch up to the heavy weights it's the fastest firing smg compared to the five available at launch and that's not all the mac 10 boasts a solid effective damage range and can be reloaded quicker than the average smg so it's not going to be quicker than every smg but the average smg just to be sure to control its high vertical recoil or get close enough 
to the enemy to make it a non-issue. So it's going to have a lot of recoil. You're going to want to put some attachments on to not give this thing recoil, or at least take away a lot of it. And if you're up close, that's where this gun really shines, because even if you do shoot at someone, the recoil doesn't matter too much up close. Then we got the Groza, the Groza, I'm not sure how to pronounce this one, assault rifle at tier 31. So we're getting a gun at tier 15, um, that's pretty cool. And then tier 31, we're getting the next one, and I think this is kind of very similar to the system Modern Warfare followed. I feel like we got the free guns around the same time. Chambered in 7.62. The Groza is a prototypical, typical, prototypical Soviet bullpup assault rifle known for its great handling speeds, allowing its owner to quickly aim down sights in the heat of a battle. So this is great. If you guys like high ADS speeds, this is the gun you want to use. With a fire rate and bullet velocity near the top of its category, expect to deal solid damage to a target downrange and with quick follow-up shots for whoever arrives as backup. So this is good. This one's going to have a very, very quick reload, very quick ADS, a nice fire rate. The bullet velocity is going to go far on the base gun. This might be one of the better assault rifles in the game. I'm okay with that because right now, the way it is, the AK-47 being like the main one people use, we kind of need something to challenge it. And if we get, I'm definitely happy. Now, new weapon blueprints. This is like, it, it's the weapons that are already in the game or just getting different variants. The Season 1 Battle Pass includes a massive 20 weapon collection of pre-configured and stylized blueprints across 7 primary and secondary weapon categories. Over half are considered legendary as they come with 5 attachments pre-configured and 3 of these are included in the 4 free weapon blueprint tiers within the Battle Pass system. So there's 20 weapons in total. Four of them are free, at least the variants, and uh, 16 of them, you gotta kind of purchase the battle pass to go and get those. I, I see why they want to make sales, obviously, and that does make sense. That is one way to do it. Now, let's talk about some of the good ones that are mentioned here. We got the Arid Constrictor, Assault Rifle Blueprint, free... Oh, it's a free one. Free tier 81, so you gotta make it all the way to 81 and you get free. Built on the fastest fire assault rifle in the game, the Arid Constrictor... Constrictor, my bad. Features a desert snake design wrapped around a collection of attachments that improve the weapon's speed and accuracy statistics significantly. So this, one, this one's going to be nice, and they put attachments on that are actually going to make it faster and more accurate. So recoil control and ADS and all that kind of stuff. So hopefully this one is going to be a good one. Now we got the Constable Tactical Rifle. So this is going to be a burst. I mean, if it's better than the AUG, we got to get rid of the AUG somehow. Might as well throw this one in. We got the Gallantry SMG, the first blueprint for the new SMG, the Gallantry Bucks. Oh wait, no, damn. These are the variants. That means even if it is a tactical rifle, it might be the AUG. It might just be the AUG. Oh no. Alright, whatever. Gallantry SMG is uh, for the new SMG, actually. This one's great. And you get it at tier 95. So the new SMG, you're going to get it with 55 round drums. You're going to get extra, um, at least, boosts to regular movement, sprinting, moving while shooting, and aim walking movement speed. So you're going to get all that kind of stuff added to that gun as well. Now get more for your operator. This is some other stuff that they're talking about within the actual battle pass. And you got to, like, it's all the skins that they're showing. And I'll show you guys some pictures here. They look pretty pretty cool don't get me wrong but they don't look that great like a lot of them just look like they put a jacket on a character and a hat and they called it a day but like this one right here this one looks pretty damn cool and i think uh this is probably one that i'm gonna try and rock at least compared to the other ones because the other ones they all look su super basic we're also getting new finishing moves and one called pain in the neck finish uh an unsuspecting enemy and style of life on cold along war zone with this new move that goes right to the jugular this finishing move can be used by any operator as equipped in the operator menu and then the tier 100 the ultimate reward for battle pass completion what are we getting all the way at tier 100 um to get a glimpse into stitch's pass and show off some legendary items during your next infiltration we're getting prisoner stitch skin and operator mission so we're getting a whole new stitch skin the orange jumpsuit stitch wore as he plotted his escape from the gulag is all yours at tier 100 yeah, and then you get um, operator missions to get new skins called a new warden and stripes. And you also get natural order assault rifle blueprint, and this one's pretty cool as well. This legendary blueprint for the new assault rifle is ready to lay down the law in the hands of the agile operator. It comes pre-configured with a Spetsnaz compensator, Spetsnaz grip, 
drop shot rat, which also I believe gives you ADS speed, KGB pad, and a barrel that boosts its damage and strafe speed. So that's pretty cool. It's for the new assault rifle. And then we're also getting an assault vehicle skin. A pair of black and white camouflage vehicle skins with red trim are included at this tier. Warzone players will enjoy this assault skin on the SUV. So it's a whole new SUV skin. Uh, and it's for a war zone, so that's pretty cool. And a season one emblem, so that's about it. That's about it. They didn't mention that we're probably gonna have, I'm guessing, like 60 sprays and, and stuff like that. And that, that kind of sucks, but I mean, yeah, that's it. That's the season one battle pass. Let me know what you guys think of it down in the comments below. Subscribe to the channel if you guys are around here with those notifications turned on. And drop a like if you guys are hyped for season one. And uh, even if you're even if you're not hyped, <laughs> I would appreciate a like. But yeah, that's gonna be it for the video, guys. Thanks for watching. Peace.